Your dad has more testosterone than you, and your soap might be why. Testosterone in men today is significantly lower than in men of the same age 30 years ago. Testosterone is a hormone found in both sexes and helps maintain a healthy balance of many body functions. A low level of testosterone has been shown to cause increased risk for cardiac issues, depression, abdominal fat, diabetes, erectile dysfunction, among other issues. Loss of muscle mass and motivation are also a problem to look for with low T. The testicles produce the majority of testosterone in men, mostly in their sleep at night. So, get your eight hours in, but in this video, we will focus on the chemicals in our environment that may be the reason why you don't have the same testosterone your dad did at your age. The air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food we consume all reflect a toxic environment for our endocrine system. Unfortunately, it is also present in the items we buy, over which we have some control. Many people are unaware that a variety of everyday goods and substances available in every home might contribute to this hazardous burden, lowering androgen levels. There are several common chemicals with different ways of negatively affecting your hormone levels. Some act as estrogen mimickers, causing your body to change the delicate, healthy, normal hormone balance. There are many factors in our everyday products that can contribute to modern society's chemical castration. Whether you're talking about estrogen mimickers, compounds that block testosterone formation, or compounds that reduce testes activity, they all have one thing in common. They all affect the testosterone-estrogen ratio negatively. Let's take a look at some mechanisms and their primary players. BPA, bisphenol A, BPA, is a chemical that is used in the creation of plastics because of its effect on plastic hardness. It's been related to low testosterone levels, erectile dysfunction, prostate and breast cancer, among other things. It can be found in the following places. Plastic bottles, just try to avoid them. They're bad for the environment and they are bad for your balls. Sippy cups for children. Items made of clear, rigid plastic. The interior of food cans. Receipt paper. Most people don't know that the store receipt you get can release BPA into your body. The BPA is absorbed through the skin. Crumbling up a receipt, or worse, using hand sanitizer, then handling receipts, can increase the absorption. If you know a cashier, tell them to use gloves, since handling receipts all day is not great for your hormone balance. Parabens. Parabens are a chemical family that disrupt hormones in the body, harm fertility and reproductive organs, affect birth outcomes, and increase the risk of cancer by mimicking estrogen and binding to estrogen receptors. They're particularly common in sun lotions, and this is where they can do the greatest damage because the enormous surface area of the body necessitates a lot of lotion. So, if you're going to be out in the sun, go slowly or make sure to use a paraben-free lotion. Parabens can be found in a range of products in your medicine cabinet, including cosmetics and shampoos, shaving gels and toothpaste. They can also cause dermatitis, especially in kids. Always try to opt out for the paraben-free options. Phthalates. Phthalates, chemicals also used to make plastic more flexible and fragrances last longer, are found in way too many things. Air fresheners, scented candles, medications, containers, plastics, vinyl floors, clothing, toys, and most things with fragrance in their ingredient. They're also in a lot of cosmetics and personal care products. Phthalates have not only been linked to hormone imbalances, but have also been linked to cancer, heart disease, and an even causing smaller genitalia in newborns. Yes, I said that right, smaller genitals. According to Dr. Shanna Swan, High phthalate levels in the blood have shown to cause a decrease in average genital size in rats and research has shown it correlates to human babies also. Check out her book, Countdown, for a deeper dive on this. 
These everywhere chemicals are impossible to completely avoid, but we can avoid certain products that are known to contain them. Scented candles made with non-organic, non-essential oil. Body sprays. The majority of commercial perfumes, remember fragrance in the ingredient usually means some phthalates. Air fresheners, vinyl floors. They've also been discovered in a variety of fast food items and containers. So try to avoid plastic food containers. Invest in glass, ceramic, or metal. And definitely do not microwave plastics. The heat breaks down the plastic, releasing phthalates into your body and air. Also, opt for phthalate-free products. Shout out to CVS for their 365 body wash being paraben and phthalate-free. For some reason, in the US, manufacturers are not required to disclose if phthalates are found in their products. So look for the rare phthalate-free signs and products now that more companies are realizing the dangers. I can do an entire video on just my hate of phthalates, so if interested, let me know in the comments if anyone ever watches this. Soy. Soy is the primary source of phytoestrogens in the diet. Many vegans and vegetarians try to make up for the absence of protein from animal sources by eating more soy. But this may cause a slew of health problems if too much is consumed. Soy on a daily basis, especially in big doses from fermented sources, can lower testosterone levels. Soy is most typically found in the following foods. Meat alternatives like Impossible Burger, Beyond Meat. Protein powders made from soy. Soy milk, tofu, and a ton of other products. One Impossible or Beyond Meat burger made from meat alternatives has potentially several million times more estrogen compounds than a regular meat burger of the same size. Beer. Beer hops are a strong source of phytoestrogens, and even a weakened beer can suppress testosterone levels. So regular daily drinking, or a substantial amount, can have an influence on your androgen levels, which is amplified by the other health risks associated with alcohol. Triclosan. Triclosan is a common antibacterial ingredient in antibacterial soap. It has a testosterone-lowering effect due to changes in testicular activity. It's also worth noting that they're terrible at killing bacteria and are largely responsible for the emergence of increasingly resistant bacteria strains. It was banned in the U.S. in 2016 for use in household soap, but can still be found in the following places. Toothpaste, detergents with antibacterial properties, toys for kids, treatments for surgical cleansing. Lack of sleep. As mentioned earlier, we make testosterone in our sleep. The average man gets less sleep today than he did historically, and that is a direct correlation with the amount of testosterone produced. Less sleep also means you have higher levels of cortisol, your stress hormone, which decreases testosterone. So not only are you making less, your cortisol is lowering what you already had. This was a quick rundown of the most commonly found testosterone killers, or estrogen enhancers, in your home. If you're interested in more information on any of these, or want me to make another video with more on a topic, let me know in the comments. It's important to speak with your doctor if you're suffering any of the symptoms of low testosterone. Remember, they will only get worse with age since testosterone production naturally declines. It's never a good idea to try to self-treat low testosterone with meds that haven't been prescribed by your doctor. Instead, discuss your therapy options with your doctor to find one that works for you. If interested, let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video on how to naturally boost your testosterone. Avoiding all chemicals known to lower testosterone is nearly impossible nowadays and can make you lose your mind. But being aware of what to avoid along with a healthy lifestyle that includes proper nutrition, exercise, good sleep, and staying away from excessive alcohol and drug use can help maintain normal testosterone levels. If you got anything out of this video, please like and subscribe. It does take time to sort through all the information out there. 
If you're interested in me covering a specific topic, let me know.